What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our content for eFootball 2024 with the best wonder kids you will want to sign for a dream team. So let me know if I missed anybody. Let me know any suggestions you want for part two. And let's crack on with the video. All right, so we're going to start with our goalkeeper, which is Trafford, who plays for Burnley. Fantastic prospect into the future, and obviously I think that he will be a good player to sign if you're looking for somebody between the sticks and you're limited on budget. Somebody to grow as well and develop with at high levels. So he is definitely my pick for a goalkeeper. We're also sticking with the Premier League. We have got Kilwell, Colwell. He's getting some good game time. He's a fantastic centre back in eFootball 2023. I reckon he'll have a couple of more skills. His play style is nice. He controls nice in eFootball 2023. I think with the slower gameplay, more fluid gameplay, he could excel. We're also over to PSG and we're going with the youngster Emery. This kid is only 16, 17, I think, and he is a fantastic prospect as well in French football. Absolutely unbelievable talent. He's got excellent, he's got a really good card as a DMF at the moment. And he's starting games for the League One champions PSG as they kind of transition a bit. We're also back to the Premier League with Levermento. This guy has actually secured a transfer to Newcastle. Newcastle are a really good side. I think they could be ones to watch this season in the Premier League. And this guy is just a really solid right back. He's got a really good card in eFootball 23. And I only see that getting better in eFootball 24. Now, we can have a Wonder Kids you will want to sign list or video without Gabby, right? Uh, Gabby, we've stuck two players under the age of 20 in this, or 20 or under. So that's why Pedri isn't there and a couple of other guys mightn't be there, like Vinicius Jr., even though they're still young. But Gabby is unbelievable in eFootball 2023. I know people that have got to Division 1 using the standard Gabby and nobody else. Uh, well, obviously other people. Lavia secured a big transfer as well. Southampton man, uh, he's down as a 70 rated DMF, but he's got a really, really high aggression stat that I think will be even improved with better ball ability in eFootball 2024, especially with the way the gameplay is going to be going. And then we are also back into Syria with Scalvini. This guy has already got a featured card, which was very dominant. It was a player of the week card, I think. Um, he's down as a 70 overall center back. He's definitely one to watch for the future. I know that there's high hopes for him as he progresses in his career. But he is a really good player. I've played with his player of the week card and it was a really good card or his featured card was really good. Also Balde, right? So we did have Leveramento and now we do have Balde as our left back, right? There's a lot of really good fullbacks in the game, but this guy seems to be the next real star fullback for Barcelona. Like he's securing his place. He's going to be a good, a good card. He already has a 74 rating in eFootball 23. I think that'll get a little bit of a boost going forward. And then we also have Xavi Simmons, one of my favorite players to use. They actually released a mid-season MVP card for Simmons, and it was sensational. So good, excellent player skills, excellent ball ability, and the way the game plays usually, small players are really dominant in the game. We also have Tell as our center forward. His current card in eFootball 2023 is insane if you want to develop it. Obviously, it's not going to compete with the features or the legends, but if you're looking to build a young youth squad, and if they do bring in the filters that you can kind of have different tiered squads, this guy is definitely going to be up there with a couple of the other center forwards that are young as well. He's a really good option with a good card. Sharky, this guy is unbelievable as well. Definitely one of the favorites. He's been around for a long time. I remember even him in PES 2021 when it first launched. As far as I remember, he was only like 16 in the game. I think he's only about 19, 20 now. A really good player. He has been linked with a couple of clubs, but it looks like he might be staying now for Leon over in League One. Really good card. He's got all the abilities that you could possibly want as an AMF. Definitely one to build around as well. And last but not least, we do have King Jude Bellingham. This guy is tearing it up in La Liga so far. Two games in, he scored in both games. He looks to be the complete package already at such a young age. Fantastic prospect for England going forward and for Real Madrid. Somebody to build around in that midfield. Kind of playing a more attack and roll. So his card might change to an AMF. We can dream that he'll be a whole player if whole player stays as dominant. But that is it for our Wonder Kids. You will want to sign part one. If you want a part two, you know what to do. Get in touch in the comments below with your suggestions. We'll talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe.